All right, so for efficiency, a couple of things I like to do. First off, you've got your consumption here that in the last 1.1 miles since I left, uh, I'm getting 315 watt hours per mile and going 47 miles per hour. So what I like to do is go into the energy graph here. Uh, for those of you that don't have the latest software update yet, um, you'll be getting this uh, soon with the latest update. So uh, anyway, here's the graph. Now you can set it for 30 miles. Uh, that is uh, the last 30 miles of driving and what your efficiency is for 15 miles or for five miles. Now, the beauty of this graph, they, um, they give you some interesting information here. So if you look here, uh, the, uh, my estimated range is 219 miles based on Tesla's own algorithm of what they assume the car should get uh, in, in normal range. And then we've got over the last five miles, the, the scale that I have here, five miles, averaging 238 watt hours per mile. So my projected range is 216 watt hours per mile if I continue at this average. Now you can see that's going up because right now I'm braking. And so the regen is putting energy back into the pack. And so this will vary depending on what's going on uh, immediately. Now you can also um, put instant range and uh, 152 miles of range based on just on this, if I were to be pulling pulling that much current above the average. But uh, that the instant range, I don't know why that would be useful at all. So, but average range is over this duration. Now watch when I hit 15 miles. Projected 202 miles of range, 30 miles, projected 203 miles. That's because what that is, that is a uh, an indicator of if you take this average of 253 watt hours per mile over this 30 mile range, the projected would be 202 miles of range in the battery uh, instead of the 219 that Tesla has here. This is much more accurate because it's going to be based on your driving habits and also on the weather. This up here is based on 225 watt hours per mile through the battery pack period, which is the average that you'll get uh, like in the summertime, most people get 225 watt hours per mile without the AC cranked um, around town. So that's what this is. But this is a dynamic projected range based on your driving habits. So this is wonderful. If I'm driving around and I want to know, not based on this, how, how much range do I have, but based on actual usage, this is the, the um, that's what you want to look at. Uh, this is definitely the the more valuable number. So sorry for the sorry for the sun glare there. Um, so this is a very valuable graph. Now one thing I like to do is sort of hypermile. I will watch the power consumption line here. Green is regen. I'm letting off and and regening there, and then black is acceleration. The higher the black line, the more acceleration power you're getting. And there is an efficiency drop off if you accelerate hard. Uh, not drastic, but it's there. And so you want to minimize how hard you are um, on, the, um, on the acceleration. And uh, it's, you, you can really increase your range quite a bit. Also, it's been my experience that changing that line, accelerating, letting off, accelerating, letting off, is harder on your range. And if you maintain a modest amount of power rather than being constantly on and off, you'll get greater range. So again, here is my watt hours per mile, and then this is my projected range. Now, if you really want to know how you're doing just in the current drive, I like to set it for a five mile scale, and that gives me the average watt hours per mile over the last five miles. Now here, this is three and a half miles, so this number and this won't meet. But once this reaches five miles, this watt hours per mile should be exactly uh, this number here, and uh, and you can I don't know, you can kind of play around with it. It's a lot of fun. Obviously, it can be distracting if you're doing this while driving. So a lot of times, it's best just to hit autopilot, keep one hand on the wheel, and that way you can kind of pay attention to the graph, and the car sort of has your back at that point. But um, again. I love this graph. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is. Um, it's wonderful. I know the Model S goes even deeper into this data than uh, than this simple graph on the Model Three, but it's it's really a useful tool, especially for geeks like myself that love data, that love to see all the minutia 
of uh, you know different aspects of their car. So now, um, and you can see also that it the graph scoots and you know keeps moving along to show you the uh, you know the the range the, or the the consumption you have over this five mile scale. So um, yeah, that's that. Um, now driving efficiently. Uh, in the summertime is is the same as the winter with the exception of in the winter you really should precondition the car before you leave in the morning and use the app to turn the heat on but today's video was really just a simple video on the power consumption graph and what it all means so the um, you'll notice the dotted line and then there's the straight line right above it and uh, you can see it more clearly there that there's a dotted line horizontal line and a straight horizontal line the dotted line is that is your uh, that is your um, your average watt hours per mile for the the range that you're driving and the um, that gray line is um, that is Tesla's assumption of what you should get out of the car so you can see Tesla's assumption of that solid line versus the dash line which is your floating average of how you are doing and if you're keeping on par with what Tesla assumes you should be you'll notice the dash line and the dotted line are nearly overlapping right now projected range 214 miles and Tesla's assumption for not not paying attention to your driving habits but just their assumption of 310 mile range for this car I should have 216 miles so you'll see the dashed line and the straight line are overlapping because my driving right now is matching Tesla's rating for the car so pretty neat uh, pretty neat thing to look at um, when your projected range is way off of, of Tesla's rated range for the car the dashed line and dotted line will really diverge and you can you can play with your your driving habits to try and equal the two so Anyway, lots of fun to mess with, and uh, it's, I really enjoy uh, all the technical aspects of the car, and hopefully over the years, Tesla will give us even more of these data screens that we can mess with. Um, you can see the, um, the dashed and dotted lines are diverging again, and um, so anyway, a lot of fun.